had an absolutely ripper session on the tailor over the long weekend out early on the Saturday morning I kept a few to smoke up as well I'll have the recipe on the second half of the video I was there about an hour before sunrise the old zip bait was absolutely murdering him This one was a bloody pig. Tipping just on 60. As the sun came out, I used my longer rod, 10 foot 6. I was using the longer rod because I was casting out a richer plug. These are awesome on the surface. My longer rod is rated to throw out 60 gram lures as well. As soon as there was a bit of light, it was pretty much on every cast. I managed not to lose as many like I did last time on my last video using the Richard plug. I just had a lighter drag, better reel, and kept the rod down real low the whole time. Less panicked as well because I was already caught a shitload of fish. The tighter I had the drag, they were more likely to jump out and breach and try and shake out the bloody uh, single hook. Lovely big surface hit. Always fun seeing the aerial display. Another real solid Metro Taylor. Always important to bleed the Taylor straight away. I usually only keep one or two Taylor because they don't freeze well. But I was um, planning to smoke them up and take a lot of it with me on a trip of going away, as well as just to give to some friends. My uh, cooler backpack was pretty jam packed. All ready for the really long walk home. So, to start off with the brine. I use 50 grams of salt for every one litre. I'd only need about just over one litre at the moment, so um, I've just got 50 grams of salt. Then I added to that some fennel seeds, coriander seeds whole, black pepper, and about three or four spoons of raw sugar. Then I pour about 500 mils of hot water into the brine mix, 
um, just dissolve all the sugar and salt and then I'll add the other uh, cold lukewarm water afterwards. You don't want to pour hot boiling water over the fish otherwise it will cook it. You can add in a little bit more water just to make sure it covers all the fillets if you need. Then off to the fridge for three or four hours. Afterwards you need to rinse off the salt of the, on the fillets and put them onto a drying rack. You can then put it back into the fridge to dry. I didn't have enough time so I just patted them down with paper towels. I loaded up the smoker and I was using chips of cherry wood and alder. I was getting pretty hungry about an hour and a half in, so I thought I'd make my fish pasta recipe. Very easy. Onion, garlic, whole chili, a little bit of diced tomato, sweat it out. Then you add in zucchini, heaps of salt and pepper, add in a lot of butter, and then rip up one of those freshly smoked Taylor fillets. Mix through some spaghetti, add some dill, a bit more butter, salt, pepper, white pepper, more dill delicious. At about two and a half, actually I think it was about three hours in, I took off all the fillets. Put These fillets were skin off so some of them fell apart unfortunately. Still tastes good. I backpacked all the fillets. This makes them last about three weeks in the fridge. Fantastic with pasta, risotto, or even just with a bit of cheese, pickle and biscuits and whatnot. For more Perth Metro videos, please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.